Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Monas, and this is the Alienware 13 R3. It's been completely redesigned since last year's model. It's a lot more durable, better engineered, and it totally drops that weak dual-core processor for a quad-core processor, and it adds a new 1060 GPU from NVIDIA. So this is one of the smallest laptops on the market that's completely VR-ready, and more importantly, portable. So is the Alienware 13 R3 worth it? Let's find out. I really like the look of the new Alienware 13. It's subtle, sleek, and it doesn't look like it's gonna murder you while you're sleeping, unlike other gaming laptops on the market. The aluminum lid has simple lines spanning in different directions and a glowing alien head logo in the upper middle. The bottom has some aluminum too, and the deck is made out of this soft plastic that feels like rubber. It's a very well-constructed and durable gaming laptop. The R3 also has a booty that sticks out a bit in order to house the majority of the ports. There's an RJ45 port, mini display port, HDMI port, Thunderbolt 3 port, the power port, and Alienware's proprietary port for their graphics amplifier. On the left, there is one USB 3.0 port, a mic port, and a headphone jack. And the right side also has another USB 3.0 port, a USB Type-C port that supports USB 3.0 speeds. Opening up the bottom is super easy with only six screws. There's two RAM slots that can hold up to 32 gigabytes and are upgradable. There's two M2 SATA slots for your storage drives. My review unit came with one 512 gigabyte PCIe SSD and an average really fast read speeds of 1600 and write speeds of 700. The write speeds are good but could be better for this type of drive. So my review unit has the QHD Plus OLED touch display, but you can spec it with an IPS FHD panel instead. You can get it with a 6th gen i5 or i7 and the option to buy it with one or two PCIe drives. If your budget allows it, definitely get it with the OLED display. Seriously, OLED displays on laptops are amazing. The blacks are so deep and the images are vibrant that you just can't take away your eyes from the screen. Plus, it's color accurate, so if you plan on doing any video editing or graphical work, you'll appreciate the 100% sRGB value and 99% Adobe RGB. Now, since since this is an AMOLED display, the screen is very saturated. So if you're doing any professional work, you're definitely gonna wanna run uh, calibration software in order to tone down those colors so they look a lot more natural. Viewing angles are great, but there's some reflections since it's not a matte screen. Also, the screen is only 60 hertz and it doesn't support G-Sync. Above is the 720p webcam. It looks like this. It's nothing special, but it does have Windows Hello facial recognition, so logging into your computer is super easy. I really like this keyboard. Each key feels like a springy pillow. It's just so comfortable to type on. There's 2.2 millimeters of travel distance, which is great, but only one level of backlighting. Now you can customize the lighting using Alienware's Alien Effects software, and you can choose between 20 different colors across nine different zones. So anything from the alien head on the front, or back to the keyboard, and even the trackpad can have its color changed. The trackpad itself is good for a gaming laptop, and I love how it glows whenever you press on it. The scrolling and movement is fairly accurate, and the keys provide a nice tactile click. For a 13-inch laptop, the speakers actually get quite loud. There's two of them, one on either side, and the highs are fantastic, they're super clear, the mids are good, but it is lacking a little bit of bass. When I'm gaming, I can hear all the little details from walking to breathing and reloading your gun perfectly. Music sounds great too, and there's presets you can choose from depending if you're listening to music or watching a movie. Now, since this is a gaming laptop, it's gonna have zero issues handling day-to-day -day productivity tasks. So working in Microsoft Office, having tons of tabs open is not a problem. In fact, you can edit 4K video with ease and you can also do work in Photoshop since the screen is color accurate. Now this is using the GTX 1060 so it's not one of the more powerful 10 series cards but it's still more than powerful enough to handle 90 to 95 percent of the latest games at 1080p. So in Overwatch I was getting about 80 frames per second like I said at 2560 by 1440 then for the other games I tested I dropped it down to 1080p Ultra. So in Gears of War 4 I was getting around 55 to 60 frames per second and Doom I was averaging 80 frames per second with the settings set to ultra. And the last game I tried was Battlefield 1, which is a beautiful game, and I was getting around 70 frames per second. In terms of heat, I was getting around 42 degrees Celsius on top of the deck, so that's about 107 degrees Fahrenheit. It never felt hot to the touch, and the laptop did a good job of getting rid of that heat. Now, it is a little bit higher than I would usually like it to be, but it's nowhere near the heat temperatures that other laptops like the Asus GL502 get, so I wouldn't worry about your laptop over 
overheating. On top of that, there was no thermal throttling, so when CPUs were under max load, it didn't get throttled at all. And the bottom of the laptop would also reach temperatures of 46 degrees Fahrenheit, but again, that's where the heat sinks are and that's where the heat is coming out of. And last up is battery life, and inside is a 76 watt hour battery, and that's a good size considering how small this laptop is. But the battery life is not that great. I only got three hours of use doing normal things like browsing the web and watching movies. Don't expect to get any more than two hours of straight gaming before needing a charge. So here are my closing thoughts. The Alienware 13 R3 is a beautiful, powerful, small portable laptop that can handle VR. So if you have an HTC Vive or Oculus Rift, it's gonna work with this laptop. There's not too many laptops at this size on the market right now. On top of that, it's durable, has a comfortable keyboard, a beautiful OLED display, which I think more laptops should have, and of course, tons of ports to hook things up to. Of course, it's not perfect, the battery life could be better, but then again, it's a gaming laptop. So here's the bottom line. If you really want something of this size, this is a fantastic laptop. Obviously, there are better buys out there if you don't mind moving up to 15 inches or even 17 inches. But at this size, this is one of the better gaming laptops on the market. So I want to know what you guys think of the Alienware 13 R3 in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.